Finally, uh, we turn to our Straight from the Street segment. Keith O'Derrick bring you a more sobering look at the plight of L.A.'s homeless and their struggle for survival. They call it Baskets of Hope. People say it doesn't exist. No one would like to admit that there is a city underground. Before this, I used to cook. And before that, I used to be an engineer, design drafter. What took place in your life that led to these circumstances here, Robert? Oh, man, depression, stress. Just got stressed. I'm stressed now. What is it like pushing this cart every day? It's a job. Sometimes it pays, sometimes it don't. Counts of where, you know, where you're going. So you saying this is the only way that people can make it today? That's the way it is. That's the hustle, man. Cans, aluminum, uh, trash bags, uh, cardboard. That's what, that's what they're doing, you know, to survive now, man. What do you think they're hoping for while keeping the stuff in the basket other than selling the materials to the recycle? A different thought with a better life. Last night I had another restless feeling. Wondering what tomorrow might bring. Last night I dreamed of full blue light shining down on me. I screamed myself away. Thought I must be dying. Thought I must be dying. So you saying now the system is stopping people with baskets? What are they doing once they stop them? Checking to see if they got anything stolen, but not knowing every weekend they set everything out for being thrown away, but it's good. Some things are good. What about people who don't realize how serious of a crisis this is in our community? What can you tell them? Keep their hopes up. Never sleep on a dream. Make it real. Anyone that's pushing a shopping cart is not pushing it because they want to. They're pushing the summer gun because they're hungry and homeless and need a place to stay and can't get no dollars no other way. You're sitting in there with the white collar jobs, you're sitting in these businesses and you want to frown. Talk about us, you laugh at us. Don't worry. You're only one step away. Everybody's one step away. People who live every day off the waste and decay, off the discount of their fellow man. How close does homelessness strike? Reginald Milner, one of the homeless you saw, was a neighbor of segment producer Keith O'Derrick's when they were growing up.